Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1074. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this video here, we need to see how to multiply quantity by either debits or credits. So for this quantity, we need the debits. But in the next cell, we need quantity times credit. Now, no problem. This is relatively straightforward, but we want to learn something about formulas. When a formula points at an empty cell, it sees 0. So no problem. Watch this. I'm going to simply multiply quantity times debit and add it to quantity times credits. Whenever there's a 0 here, boom, that one will be 0 out. And I'm going to use the sum function. So I'm going to say quantity times debits. Right now, that'll give us a uh, number. And then quantity times an empty cell, which is 0. Close parentheses, Control Enter, double click, and send it down. Now, I'm going to go to any particular cell and just watch Excel calculate. If I go up to the Formulas ribbon, I can go to Evaluate Formula. The keyboard is Alt-MV. And check this out. We can watch it in action. Evaluate, evaluate. There's the 0. So boom, it'll always yield 0 times some number, 0. And the next one, we'll get our 280. So if we come, that was for the credits. If we come down here, Alt-MV, and I can just hit, simply hit on the Formula Evaluator. That Evaluate button is blue. So I simply hit Enter, Enter, and watch Excel's magic, recognizing an empty cell as 0. Now, there's other ways we could do this. I like this one the best. We could certainly uh, use some product, which is allows us to do array calculations. And I can simply highlight the two cells and multiply it by quantity. Now, this one actually probably takes less time to type out, right? What it will do is now, this is an array operation. That's a math operator. It's operating on an array of items, meaning more than one uh, item. Normally, we do cell times cell, but this is a range times a cell. So actually, the 61 will be multiplied by the 25, and then it will be multiplied by the 0 there. That's the multiplying part of it, and then the sum will add. Now, why are we using sum product instead of sum function? Because that array operation would require a special keystroke, and by using sum product, this argument right here, array, can handle that array operation without any special keystroke. And if I come here and Alt-MV, I can watch this formula calculate. It's actually going to do an array operation. There's two items times a single item. Boom, it gives me an array of 540 and 0 on the sum product adds. Still another way we could do this, I, I still like the first one better, I could simply ask the question, hey, is that relative cell reference equal to 0? When it is, what do I want? Well, I want quantity times uh, 25. That's the value of true. The value of false, which means there'll be something there, is going to be quantity times credits. Close parentheses, Control Enter, double click, and send it down. If I come down here and Alt M, whoops. Alt-MV, I can go ahead and evaluate it, Enter, Enter. So I can see it's checking for 0. It sees the 0, and that yields a true. So now it's going to do that fourth, first calculation, 18 times 30. And the other one is completely ignored. 540 is our answer. All right, we'll see you next trick.